Okay, this video will show you the warm up that we did on 11 2, 11 3. Here we go. Everything I need you to know with a couple of new things in there. So here we go. Domain measured left to right, looking at those x axis numbers. So from negative 8 to 4. So my domain would be from negative 8 to positive 4. That is my domain. If I'm doing range, looking at the bottom number on the y-axis to the top number on the y-axis from positive 1 up to 7. The maximum is that highest point right here written as a coordinate. So that would be left 2, negative 2, up 7. The minimum, this smallest part of the data, the lowest part written as an xy coordinate with rounded brackets, that would be 4, comma 1 for x and y. The intervals where it's increasing, I only have one of them. And again, you use the x-axis numbers to describe that from negative 8 all the way up to negative 2. The interval where it's going downhill, again, looking at the x-axis numbers to frame that from negative 2 all the way to positive 4. <clears throat> That's where it's going down. All right, this one, I give you x is 1. I want you to use the graph to find out what the y number is. So find x is 1 on the x-axis, this axis right here. Go up or down until you hit that line, and then when you do, look to the left, and that will be the y number. So when x is 1, y has to be Four. That's that answer right there. F of one equals four. If I give you this one, this one is me giving you the Y number is two. And we want to know what that X number is when Y is two. So for this one, go to Y is two on the Y axis. Go left or right until you hit that line. And then when you do look down that is the x number at that spot. So that had to be x equal 3 to get y is 2. Or technically, f of 3 equals 2. That's what we're really looking for right there. That's what that is. x is 3. All right, moving on. Other ones. Range, domain, domain, x numbers from negative 8 to positive 5 using those x numbers where it's going from left to right on the x-axis. Domain, range, bottom to top where it's slicing through the y-axis numbers. So that would be from negative 2 up to 5. Maximum, highest point, this spot right here, written as a coordinate. That would be negative 2, positive 5. The minimum, written as a coordinate, that would be Right 5, down 2. Increasing interval. I got one of them. Looks like from negative 8 to negative 2. Decreasing. Looks like it goes from negative 2 to 5. F of 1. Find 1 on the x-axis. Look up. Look to the right. That's the y number. When x is 1 for this one, the y number had to be spit out as 2. The next problem, if I give you a, the y number is negative 2, what would the x number have to be to get that negative 2? So find negative 2 on the y-axis. Look at that line. Look up. That's the x number. That would have to be 5. That has to be a 5 in here to really make that true. X equals 5. That's what that one is. F of 5 is negative 2. All right, moving on. Domain, negative 7. And the way I have you try to set this one up all the way over to 4. Sorry about that little blank spot. Range from negative 2 all the way up to 9. Maximum, the highest point right here. That would be the point 4, 9 for this one. The minimum, the lowest point, 
would be negative 4, negative 2. This is my maximum, the highest point, the maximum. This is my minimum, the lowest point of my data. Increase in interval right here. All the way from negative 4 up to positive 4. That's where it's increasing from negative 4 to 4. Decreasing, going downhill, this little stretch from negative 7 to 4 negative. Negative 7 to negative 4. That's that downhill stretch. X is 1. Find the graph. Look to the left. See that Y number. It's got to be 5. When X has this number and Y is 2, find the X number. So if 2, look left or right until you hit that graph and then look down. That would be negative 1. X equals negative 1. Only negative 1 right there would work to make that true. X equals negative 1. All right, moving on. Last one. Range from negative 10. I'm sorry, domain negative 10 to the right up to 8. Range bottom to top from 3 up to 9. Maximum high point. Looks like I got 7, 9 written rounded coordinates. Round. These are round. These are square. All right. Minimum, the lowest point. Looks like nothing lower than 1, 3. Increasing intervals. I got more than one of them. I got to list both. So it looks like from negative 10 to negative 7, and then 1 to 8. Those are my increasing intervals from negative 10 to negative 7, and then the other one from 1 to 8. Decrease in intervals. Only got one of them. Border from negative 7 to 1. And then the last one, x is 1. Hit that line right there. Look to the right. Look to the left. I'm sorry. x equals y equals 3. When x is 1. When x is 1, y is 3. For the next one, when y is 8, what would that x number be when y is 8? So find 8, left or right, until you hit that line, look down. That would have to be 7. f of 7 equals 8, or x equals 7. All right, hopefully this helps some of you trying to understand. Good luck.